Can anybody see me? Okay, I'm just gonna look like a phantom during this whole video. I don't care. Uh, happy yeah, Turkey Genocide Day tomorrow for all those in the know in America. Thanksgiving. Uh, for everybody else, it's well, I mean, it's just Thursday, right? I don't think you guys are doing anything special. Um, I don't know. I was thinking about Thanksgiving and I wasn't even sure I was going to do a video, but then I remembered who I'm spend, spending my Thanksgiving with. And I guarantee you that by this time tomorrow night, I am going to be thoroughly, thoroughly embarrassed. I'm going to have regretted going and, um, you guys are going to find out why right about now. And I think I've mentioned this guy before on my YouTube, but in case I haven't, because I'm forgetting now what I've said on YouTube or what I've said in private live streams or live streams or just to that homeless woman on the corner who's offered me salvation through her urine if I drink it and I give her a dollar. Hey, it might work. Um, I'm hanging out with a guy I used to work with who I refer to, who's like an uncle to me. He's been so great to me the past 10, 11 years. He's been there for me when I've needed anything. I can go to this guy. He's one of the best friends you could ever have. Uh, so I'm going to change his name. I'm going to call him Uncle Mickey. All right. Uncle Mickey has a worse, more perverted sense of humor. And I don't even think it's humor half the time than I do. So, you know, when your family's all dead, like mine and his, <laughs> uh, isn't it funny? Isn't it funny around the holidays? I have nobody. Everything, all is lost. Um, you know, you, you don't really do anything now on Thanksgiving or Christmas or, you know, except Hanukkah. Then I, I put on, you know, one of those fucking little Jew hats to hide the horns. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> okay. I don't do anything pretty much any holiday. They've lost all significance to me. I'm a bitter, angry 80 year old man trapped in a 42 year old man's body. Okay. So I, he called me up. He's like, Hey, Hey, we should go hang out because I've got nothing. He's been housebound for a while now because of a myriad of illness. I'm, I'm, I'm shocked the man is still alive. He's 62 years old. He smoked like a fucking train. He could drink any of you under the table. Any of you under the table. I know, I know you think, well, I can drink a lot. No, 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 no. This guy drank so much that he had to go to the hospital the next day because his liver was hurting. Have you ever done that? I don't think too many people have done that. Okay, he's crazy. He's batshit crazy. But shit catches up to you like it always does. And, you know, he doesn't get out as much as he used to. But... Going back to when he used to work with me and stuff like that, I started, this is why I hang out with him, this is why I truly love this guy. Um, I think I've told the story before. Like one time we were out and we were eating somewhere and out of nowhere, <laughs> the waitress walks by and for no apparent reason, he just didn't like her. He didn't like this waitress. And so she came over. She's like, hi, how's the meal going? And um, she brought, you know, our drinks, but she didn't bring his toast, right? He goes, I need my toast. I want my toast. I got toast coming with this order, honey. Come on, give me my toast. And she kept walking away and not ignoring it. Finally, he just started screaming throughout the restaurant. Toast! Toast! I'm over here waiting for my fucking toast. Where's my toast? So finally, she comes and gives the toast. And he looks right at her and goes, bitch. <laughs> he just takes the toast. And I'm like, I'm mortified at this point. I know, me being mortified, but I was. So then... I don't know. I started to get a little, he started to tell me about his ex-girlfriends and I wish he had me. He's like, you know, my one ex-girlfriend had this girl. I was fucking on the side. She was married, but who cares? Her husband had a limp dick as far as I knew. So she would come over and I used to do this thing where, you know, you bake those cinnamon rolls and it has a nice frosting on it. And I put the frosting on a pussy hairs, right on a pussy. And then I go to town. I eat a pussy out. And she always come back for more. Oh, God, don't tell me that story. I don't ever want to hear that story again. How him and another guy used to tag team a girl. Not like fuck her at the same time, but like uh, she liked to be handcuffed. He's like, we would get her over there, we'd handcuff, and then we'd tickle it till she pissed, and then we'd fuck her. <laughs> Did she let her clean herself up first? That's horrible. But my favorites, well, not my favorites. Some of the other things that he did were, um, okay, well, he'll do this thing when we're eating. Where he'll make me, I'll forget about it every time. I fall for it every time like an idiot. He'll, he'll like go to me and be like, well, I'll be in the middle of it. I'll, he'll do it tomorrow. And I'll forget, forgotten about it by then. He'll be like, hey, 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 you see those two old people over there? I'll look and it'll be some nice old couple. I'll never forget the first time. It was a nice old couple. They kind of, they both looked like they were 90 or something like that. They were eating. It just looked sweet. He had to fuck it up. Here's what he did. He goes, you see them over there? I thought he was going to say something nice finally. I'm like, yeah, I see them over there. He's like, you think they still fuck I'm like, oh, you think, you think, you think so? I think they still fuck. Let's go ask them if they fuck. <laughs> we were at a casino one time. There's this woman at a machine, clearly not doing well. She kept, 
she's like hitting the machine, getting angry and angry. And he's like, if you give me $10, I'll go over there right now and ask if she's winning. <laughs> it's just shit like that. But the worst thing he's done, it, it, it's pretty bad. Like one time we we're passing by this uh, uh, cancer sign, you know, the, the little kids who have cancer and it's like, you know, Tommy is fighting his battle with cancer, but he's going to win. And we would see this billboard every day when I'm driving him home from work. It's like, you know, Tommy is fighting with cancer. And I swear to God, one day we're at a stoplight. He's like, and cancer's kicking the shit out of him. Give it up. <laughs> you know what you should ask your parents for this Christmas? A coffin. He's going to die. <laughs> Why are they lying to this fucking kid? He's going to die. <laughs> shit like that. I've seen him curse out old people, even though he's kind of older himself. There was this one old woman who used to come to our store all the time. And we would humor her. Even though it was a porn store, she would just walk in, start talking to us, and we'd be like, yeah, yeah, I know, right? Uh-huh. He never had time for it. He couldn't stand her. He would yell at her, and she would come back and tell me the next day, like, that man yelled at me. She was Irish. She's like, that, yeah, that man yelled at me. I'm like, what did he say? She's like, she, he called me a dirty motherfucker. <laughs> so I asked him, like, Uncle Mickey, did you call this girl, this old lady, a dirty motherfucker? He's like, she wouldn't shut up. I'm trying to leave. It's 10 o'clock. Time for me to lock this God forsaken place up. The old bitch comes walking in here, starts yapping, yapping, yapping again. I said, go home. I gotta go home. I wanna go home. She keeps going. So I said, listen, you motherfucker, get the fuck out of my store. I was like, well, maybe she just wanted a friend. He's like, then she should buy a fucking dog. Uh, better yet, she should just die. Nobody would miss her. And then the worst. Well, one of the worst. I keep saying it's the worst. I was watching a thing on YouTube one day when he came into work. And it was one of those, it was, uh, it was about those, those two-headed girls, not two-headed, uh, they uh, conjoined twins, I guess. They share one body and they were sitting there and they're, you know, like this with their heads next to each other. Like, you know, we do everything that anybody else can do. We don't want anybody to think of us differently. And I was actually inspired by them. I am not even that kind of a dick where I would make fun of that situation because I'm so blessed not to have that. I can't imagine what these girls go through. He doesn't say anything. And I... You know, I think he's just not even paying attention. Maybe he's not hearing what I'm watching. So I'm starting to do it. I'm kind of like this, watching these two-headed girls, two-headed, these uh, conjoined twins. He walks past me, puts his stuff away, comes over, kind of joins me. I'm like, wow, he's really into this. It's nice. He's like, hey, hey, when they're mad at each other, you think they spit on each other like llamas? I do. I think so. I got a question. Here, here's a good question. No, this is real. Don't even look at me like that. What if one of them wants to give head to her boyfriend and the other doesn't? <laughs> What the fuck do they do, right? Am I right? Okay, okay, another one. And then I thought, I'm like, he's going to forget about this. And I even said it. I'm like, you'll forget about this. You'll let this go within a day because you'll come up with something else. Out of nowhere now, he always brings up those two-headed, conjoined twins. He will always bring them, I'm sorry, the two-headed bitches, as he calls them. He'll always bring them up. He'll be like, hey, remember those girls with two heads? Yeah. What if one of them, what if one of them wants anal and the other one wants to go to sleep? What do you think happens? What do you think? What if one of them wants to finger her pussy and the other one doesn't? What do they do? You know? I don't know. <laughs> what if they got a boyfriend, right? What if they're fucking? Just shut up. What if they're fucking and the boyfriend wants to come on one of their faces and he misses and he hits the other one? Is she going to be mad? What do you think? I think when they get into a fight, since they can't walk away from each other, they just kind of fucking headbutt each other until they're unconscious. What do you think about that? So I have to deal with him tomorrow. And then after I deal with him tomorrow, I will be dealing with Stevie, who's actually having a rough time right now. So kind of thoughts and prayers for Stevie. And I can't really say too much right now, but in maybe in a little bit, I'll be able to talk more about the situation. But uh, having a little bit of a rough go. That's all. That's all I can really say about that situation. So uh, I'll be talking to him. And um, oh, don't get me wrong. He's still flying all over the place. And he's going to drag me somewhere I don't want to be, like a restaurant or any place with people. And I'll be upset. So that's my Thanksgiving plan. Spend it with Uncle Uncle Mickey tomorrow. <laughs> Who's going to fucking thoroughly annoy me again? I swear to God. We are banned from one restaurant because he cursed the waitress out. Because our food was getting cold. And she was talking to a lot of people. And he kept seeing her. And he was getting more and more right. He goes, I'm fucking hungry. I'm losing my shit in about five seconds if I don't get my burger. That bitch over there sitting there talking to everybody on the planet. That motherfucker. She's talking to somebody else now. I swear to fucking Christ. I'm like, listen, I'll handle it. I went up and did the right thing. Started saying, you know, it's not right. We're hungry. Blah, blah, blah. I'm doing the right thing. Talking to the manager. All of a sudden I hear, well, fuck you too, you whore. I, you shouldn't be working here, you dog-faced bitch. I've been waiting forever. You're going to give me this cold shit free. That's what the fuck you're going to do. We, I had to go. I had to go. We was like, we can never go to that Red Robin again. <laughs> 
So if you want to pick Red Robin, if that's the only place to open tomorrow, we can't go. We can't. We just can't do it, okay? So that's it. But to you and yours, if you're celebrating Thanksgiving, uh, drink a lot. I mean, I can't, but because, you know, I get stark raving psychotic, but drink a lot. Uh, have a lot of turkey. Uh, whoever invented stuffing in turkey? I know a random thought, but I was thinking that the other day. Like, think about it. That had, At the time, that had to be the most demented woman on the planet. Honey, I have an idea. What is it, babe? I'm going to, I've got a new way to cook. I was just thinking, you know how we make a turkey? Yeah. Um, I think that what we should do is take all the stuffing that we usually just make on the side and shove it up the turkey's fucking ass. And then, no, 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 don't look at me like that. Then we cook the turkey with the stuff up its ass. Because I think the ass juice mixed with the stuffing will make it taste good. Why are you, why are you leaving? What? I need to be in a sanitarium. What? Think about, that must have been the craziest bitch. Who came up with that fucking idea? Who was like, you know, at, at first they must have looked at ever, the, whoever came up with it. Like, what the fuck did he just shove it up the turkey's ass and then cook it? What the fuck is wrong with you? I don't know. I'm sure I could Google that and find out. But anyway, happy Thanksgiving is what it all comes down to. That wasn't a tick. I tried to wank it. <laughs>